Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. Today's video will be part two of, of a multi-part series around some of the most common code interview questions I've received during the interview process with large companies like Apple to smaller startup tech companies. We will be focusing on C-sharp for our language today, but we'll be adding more languages as the series continues its run. We will be writing our code within CoderPad as that appears to be a very popular tool used within many of these interview processes. Today's code interview question is, count the words in a string. Before we get started, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below as we upload lots of testing related videos each week on a wide range of topics from integrating AI into testing to setting up automation frameworks in multiple languages. With that out of the way, let's get into answering our question. We're going to start where we left off in our previous video for reverse words. We'll start by adding a new variable. So we'll do var count words equals, we'll use a count words method and we'll pass in our reverse text variable from our previous video. We'll simply copy the count words variable and replace the reverse text variable inside of console.write line. I'll make a comment here so that we know what we're doing here. Now we can start creating our count words method. So we'll start by doing a public static int, we'll call it count words, and we'll accept a string called x. We'll do an int result equals zero. Then we're going to trim the white spaces. First thing we'll do is x equals x dot trim. Then we'll need a for loop, which we'll execute once with empty string returning. So we'll do if x equals equals empty string, then return zero. Then we need to ensure that there is only one space between each word. So we'll do a while x dot contains space space. Then we'll do x dot replace space space. And we'll replace that with a single space. Then we need to count the words. So we'll do a for each string y in x dot split. And we'll split on single space. result plus plus and then we'll simply return the result with that out of the way we can hit run and as you can see it counted world hello as two words correctly that wraps today's code interview questions video on count words. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below as we upload lots of testing related videos each week on a wide range of topics from integrating AI into testing to setting up automation frameworks in multiple languages. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next video.